What's up people? Welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. And um, it's daytime. I'm very fond of that. <laughs> you can imagine why. <coughs> and I think we finished this room. So I'm getting back and there was another room that's called the study. And we've read a specific document stating that there might be something that we can use. And for that matter we need a key. So, into the study. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damn curiosity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it is. Come on. So, that looks not so good. Let's see. In the box. Is there something behind that? What is up with you? You don't like darkness because it doesn't seem like it's freaking dark. Stop being pussy. No, there's nothing behind there. I don't think so. In any case, just double checking so I don't miss anything. Nope, nope, double no. That is even a triple no. Unless there's some no. This doesn't seem like no, no, I'm I'm fine. Seems odd. Now we're here. We can look outside. Looks awesome. Oh, no. Uh, Some letter to a student. Right. Not reading that. Just letting you know. Can't be bothered by that. I still don't know why his vision is so blurry. Oh, that looks nice. This looks kind of a nice room. Chamber of Human Skulls. Icky. That is a dog. There is a piece of paper. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It tells something about animal experiments. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. <sighs> Jesus flipping Christ, that Alexander dude is just so ridiculous. Sounds like it's gonna be an interesting room, is it? Nothing in. Oh! That's him. The A tells me that's Alexander. And no, that's not. <laughs> Sheesh! Don't do that to me. Nope. Is that gonna help me? Not really. Hmm. Yeah, that seemed to have had us pounding. I can see why. Stupid dogs! Hmm. Ways blocked. So... I'll need to find another... Don't you dare. <laughs> Is there another way? No, like... 
messy. This room seems like it's it's perfect. I can just pull a penis here. This is a secret door. <laughs> no, it's not. Damn it. Oh, let me just check the mementos so up. Finding a uh, rubble in the study. Yeah, either we'll we'll just play our card off <clears throat> here. I'm just having some explosives, but I don't think that's gonna work. So, and I'm hearing dogs on the other side. It's not gonna be good, right? Seems like there is a way to go. No, that, there's not. Nope. Study, study, study. I'm hearing how my skull is cracking. Why does it need to be nighttime outside? So I think it has something to do with this room. by the way. We can put it in there, but that doesn't help us. Nope. Ah, there's some note. For the disappointment. What is it? Oh, it's a flint slash, yeah. It's a German book about plants. Mm. I don't see what we could do to get through there. But I need a room, uh, a key to the machine room. I'm not gonna get that, and it's probably gonna be in a study. <sighs> that is a bird. A bird, bird, bird. But is a bird. Huh. I have no idea, guys. To bear with me a little. go here. But in fact, you're not supposed to go here. That's what I figure. No. I have nothing else that I'm seeing right now. Looking at the walls, maybe there's some some crack or something. Let's look at the mementos for a change. Uh, an important key is hidden in the guest room. Alright. We have been to the guest room. And we have found the key. Let's go back there. that here before damn you the strange letter frightened him 
but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. How can things offer comfort at the same time and being so dramatic that you're not... Well, why not light the fire here? I mean, it comes, nearly comes for free. I was thinking about this frame here. It's kind of... Nope, not in here. Where would you hide a key? Like in those? Where else would you hide a key? Daniel? What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Mm-mm-mm. Is anyone there? Where did that come from? Here, there are some stones that you could use to break something. I'm also looking for a loose floorboard. That could work. I've been looking at these straws, did I? Yeah, I did. So why would that freaking key be? Get off. You know from where that is? Yeah. It's from Star Wars. In the clock. Did I look in the clock? No, I didn't. How about lighting that fire here? Oh, then I don't have to use all that. Now this is a bunny, that's not going to help me, is it? What about this vase? Nope. I was right about the fact of, you know, uh, the frame. So we've crossed that off the list. Uh, find the key that unlocks the lead uh, door leading to the machine room. I did. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overtuned and laid cobs on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. So, um, let's maybe try to get into the machine room first and get the stuff fixed. And then maybe later. First of all, get the key. Open it. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damn curiosity. That's what we have in here. 
Oh no. You're not just telling me that it's gonna be very hard and hard and hard and horrible. <sighs> so, Valve, check. Dark room. Check. Note. Double Fifth check. July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Well, maybe you are, who knows? There are some drawings on the... Oh, frick me. Oh, I do have <clears throat> a few cuts and bruises. Let's repair that. What is your problem, Daniel? Aratus uh, presses. That's not gonna help us, is it? First of all, let's light that lantern and this one. And we will be getting two tinder boxes, so we don't have to stand in the freaking dark all the time. So the pressure. I probably have to administer the pressure so everything works out. But for that, we would need a running machine. I'm smart as I am, but this was hard to figure out, was it? Let's see. Open the door slowly. Yeah. Not a monster in here. Or is there? 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Right. <clears throat> There's another note. Uh, note that there are only two separate rods left in the storage for the elevated machinery. Make sure the only Right. 